Hi, Soul Family. This is Latani with Saggy Soul. Thank you for tuning in for your reading. Uh, this reading will be from July the 18th through July the 31st. Uh, we started with Cancers. Cancers, happy birthday. I uh, hope you had a good birthday a month, a good birthday week, and that you are thinking positive, right? And clearing your intentions and being specific because we have that new moon coming up on Monday, June the 20th. Right? So you want to start manifesting all those good new things in your life that you've always wanted and desire, right? All right. So I would like to say thank you to my old subscribers. Thank you for subscribing and staying with me. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Welcome and thank you for subscribing. Uh, thank you for the emails. Thank you for the likes and dislikes and the comments. It is all energy, right? And so family, thank you for the comments because of course your comments help to uh, heal others who are going through the process or who have not gone through the process and they're behind the, the energy, right? So it just depends on where you are. All right, um, let's see. This will not resonate with everyone. Uh, so maybe 5%, maybe 1%, uh, maybe one or two people, whoever needs to hear it the most, uh, continue to check your moon sign. Rising, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, uh, south node, uh, north node, all those areas in your natal birth chart that make up who you are. Um, I think that's about it. So Cancer, I have already uh, set my intentions. I've already done my prayer. Let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle. So I hope you had a good weekend. hope you're still having a good weekend. And you're just keeping your thoughts positive. Getting some fresh air, exercise, yoga, meditation, all those good things. One more. Cancer. All right, let me cut the deck. Cancer. Your focus, the Knight of Swords. Somebody's coming in to say a few things to you. You also have the Knave of Swords, uh, which is just like the uh, Page of Swords, right? You also have the King of Pentacles. You also have the Five of Wands. You also have the High Priestess, Major Arcana. You also have the Six of Wands in the reverse. And you also have Strength, Major Arcana, in the reverse. All right, Cancer. Come on down and let's see what's going on. Cancer, your focus. Hmm, the Knight of Swords. Well, we know with the Knight of Swords, well, this is any time a knight comes in, right? It brings in news and opportunities and invites. Sometimes proposals of love, sometimes proposals of business, but particularly with the Knight of Swords, this is hmm, sometimes making a hasty decision, right? Sometimes coming in, somebody coming in quickly with issues with you, right? Or even news, right? And sometimes even bold solutions, right? Let's keep going. You also have the Knave of Swords, which is just like the Page of Swords, right? Now with Pages, this is messages coming in, right? And again, uh, news and 
uh, new adventures and the beginning stages of something small. But with the Knave of Swords, this is hmm, some type of curiosity, right? And hmm, some type of important or unexpected news. This could also be uh, a child, right? Or this could also uh, represent a young adult. Um, or if you're older, this could also be someone that's younger than you or even an adult that's very immature, but let's keep going. You know, somebody also could be spying on you, right? Keeping an eye on you, Cancer. You also have the King of Pentacles. Now remember, this is energy we're talking, so this could be the King or the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, but this is someone who is usually very financially secure and has built a foundation. This is not someone who has just started, but has a solid foundation built, right? Someone who is very generous and has a love of luxury and is very confident and uh, can even be uh, a little stubborn, right? <laughs> but very dependable. This person is also very skillful at business, right? Whether they're in the work environment whether they are an entrepreneur within their home or outside of their home, right? And usually the um, king or queen of pentacles is usually the married couple within the tarot, right? You also have the five of wands. Hmm. Well, this is fighting, right? This is quarreling and obstacles and adversity and not getting along others and not playing well with others, right? Uh, tit for tat, right? Hmm. Let's keep going. You also have the High Priestess, Major Arcana. Well, we know what the High Priestess, this is the Keeper of Secrets, right? This is someone who is very mysterious and someone who has a very deep wisdom of understanding earthly, the earthly plane and the esoteric, right? And just overall deep intuition and, hmm. But let's keep going. You also have the Six of Wands in the reverse. Now, in the upright, well, the Six of Wands is just as it looks. It's, it's victory, right? It's celebration and it's enjoying your spoils, as they say, and drinking the finest wines and beverages that you like, right? It's recognition and praise and even recognition on a local level or sometimes even on a national level, right? But in the reverse, hmm. This can sometimes be a fall from grace, right? This is sometimes not having victory. This is sometimes uh, betrayal, right? And receiving praise from others, but them not really being genuine in their praises, right? Let's keep going. You also have strength, major arcana. In the reverse. Hmm. Now, on the upright, well, strength is just that, right? It's having the strength to deal with all obstacles in any situation or anybody that comes your way with drama, right? And being solidly grounded to take a stance on the people, situations, and places or things that you believe in, right? But in the reverse, hmm. this is not standing up for what you believe in, right? This is sometimes hiding things and being a coward when it comes to speaking the truth or being upfront and honest about a situation, place, or person, right? Hmm. So, Cancer on the board. Let's see if I get this. We have Pentacles. Earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. We also have swords, air signs, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. We also have wands, 
fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have the High Priestess, Virgo, Cancer, and Strength, Leo. And remember, this could be uh, in the Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, uh, and vice versa with the cross watcher or the group of people that you are dealing with or connected to the situation, right? Interesting. Cancer, this is this is you, the high priestess. Deep wisdom, deep intuition, intuition, balanced, the keeper of secrets. Right? You've been keeping a secret about something. What is it? Because I see this, perhaps, knight, who <laughs> was perhaps an air sign, a Aquarius Gemini Libra, coming in to have a discussion with you. Hmm. And I don't see any cards of reconciliation on the board. So there is a secret that you've been keeping. This person is possibly coming in to question you about it. I do see them spying on you. And this could be the same air sign, right? Aquarius Gemini Libra, keeping tabs on you. Hmm. And also this King of Pentacles. Because whatever is going on, you're moving in silence. You're working on the next, your next business idea, right? You are planting seeds for some type of legacy that you are not revealing. Hmm. Because in the past, I see that maybe whenever you shared your thoughts or shared your ideas with others, whether it was a new job change or a new business venture, a new relationship, you were met with a lot of strife, right? A lot of jealousy, a lot of gossip, uh, even a lot of talking behind your back, right, by others. Hmm. And it looks like you were in a solid foundation here, whether it's a marriage or a long-term partnership, but maybe you're finding out this king or queen, they really don't support you the way that they should, right? They never had your back the way that they should. And because of that, you're moving in silence. You're not looking for accolades or someone to congratulate you on the work that you're doing. You're not interested in that. At this stage in your life, you understand that everything is energy, right? And whatever you're starting, new career, new job, going back to school, a new relationship, you don't want this tainted 
by others' thoughts or even their opinions, right? And you also could be dealing with the Leo, right? You don't even have the strength to argue about money, whether you need money to start up or you need this person's time or energy to give you a hand. You're moving in silence and you're doing things your way, right? You're not concerned about others' input when it comes to your life or your future anymore. You're not interested in other people's opinions in how they think you should do things or how you should start things or what you should do or the process or this or that. Yes, you have people around you, but it seems like they're not supportive. And when I mean not supportive, it seems like there's an air of jealousy, right? Because people are trying to figure out what you are doing, what you are working on, and perhaps even how you are able to manifest things into, the, into your life the way that you do, right? And somebody's coming in to gain that secret recipe. But Cancer, being the high priestess or the high priest, continue to move in silence, right? Continue to keep your thoughts and ideas and your business ventures to yourself. If no one's putting in a heavy investment to get your thoughts and ideas off the ground and you're doing all these things by yourself, then everybody's on a need to know basis, right? Because it's a pandemic and everyone has to be creative in the way that they move now, right? In the way that they do business, right? And how they start businesses, right? So don't share your business ventures and your business ideas and your process with others. Because a lot of these people will take that idea, right? And they'll become your competition. Right? Hmm. Well, this is not going to resonate with everyone. This is for a particular cancer that is working on great things. And you've never had a supportive foundation or group of people behind you, right? Always a bunch of naysayers who didn't think your ideas would fly or they thought what you wanted to do was a stupid idea or you would need so much money to get this started or do that. Who would back you? And I believe, Cancer, you are learning that you must depend on yourself. You must gain the confidence and the strength to overcome any obstacle that is put on your path, right? Because you're probably in the process of building something great. You mustn't give up. No matter what happens, you must keep plugging along, right? Positive affirmations every day about your business, the name of your business, what you see your business doing, where you see your business in one year, where you see your business in five years, where you see your business in 10 years, and manifesting how much your business is going to make, right? So. Let's get a few cards of positive 
uh, affirmations. Let's see. I am surrounded by unconditional love and harmony each day. Exactly. This is you. And you're surrounded by people, but you want to keep your thoughts to yourself, right? You want to launch your business ideas to yourself. And when they blow up and they become very successful and you're at a good stage where you can share people and positive energy will flow, then you'll share that loving, unconditional news, right? I am surrounded by unconditional love and harmony each day. Exactly. Keeping things harmonious because you know others will be jealous of your success. Not boasting, not bragging, right? Working in silence. And you have one more. I have the attitude of gratitude for each fresh start I receive when I wake each day. Exactly. You are the high priestess. Deep wisdom, deep knowledge. Grounded. And understanding that, yes, we're in a pandemic, but you are going to make it. You made it this far, right? And your life path is really just starting. Matter of fact, a lot of you probably know really what makes you happy and what kind of work you were meant to do, right? And if not, you keep manifesting until you figure out what your next step is, what your life path should be. So Cancer, this is your reading from today, the 18th of July through July the 31st. Please subscribe, like, share, and of course, comment. Thank you for tuning in to Saggy Soul and from one soul to another soul. I love you, soul family. Have a good week and happy birthday.